Hi, welcome to today's video about attosecond physics. What is a attosecond? Um, that's a fraction of a second. One AS is 10 to the minus 18 seconds. It's a quintillionth of a second. 10 to the minus 9 is a 1 billionth, so a attosecond is a what? 1 billionth of a billionth of a second. For example, um, unstable isotope uh, beryllium 8 which is uh, responsible for the beryllium barrier. Its half-life is 8.2 times 10 to the minus 17 seconds. In attoseconds, that's 82 attoseconds. Then there's an atomic unit of time, that's 24 attoseconds. This is used in atomic physics. There's also a femtosecond, which 1fs, this is uh, 10 to the minus 15 seconds. So one femtosecond is 1000 attoseconds. And attoseconds uh, are relevant because uh, the Nobel Prize in Physics of 2023 was won uh, by three scientists who worked on attosecond physics. This is a picture of hydrogen breathing. Uh, you can see the three uh, axes of um, space, y, x, y, z. Uh, that's the electron motion uh, from the spherical 1s orbital to the dumbbell-shaped uh, 2p orbital. The 2p orbital is in this picture blue and black uh, over time. Uh, so this is a movie of, um, of the electron motion uh, within 440 attoseconds. So attosecond physics is a new nano world and uh, very fascinating. This is another picture of the attosecond change of angular probability density x-axis is um, distance from the nucleus, y-axis is time, and the uh, color is uh, density. Red is highest uh, density, electron density. You can again see the hydrogen breathing over time, the change from the 1s orbital to the 2p orbital and back. Uh, for a long time, the shortest uh, passes from lasers were about 6 femtoseconds and it was not clear if the femtosecond barrier was breakable or not. This is a high harmonic generation, HHG, was ob observed in 1977. This is a three-step model. Um, this is made by CO2 laser pulses on plasma from solid substances. You can see this uh, three steps. First tunneling, second acceleration, third recombination, and here um, the high energy extreme UV photons are emitted. Uh, these are the attosecond uh, bursts. For this, uh, you need a linear polarized uh, light. This is essential. This is a picture of, blue, of a blue laser beam uh, with uh, 455 nanometers in calcite. Comes from here. Inside the calcite, you can see the orange fluorescence light. And at the right, um, you can see two beams of the linear polarized uh, light, laser light. This is a high harmonic generation spectrum of neon, which is hit uh, from a light uh, of a titanium sapphire laser. Uh, you can see the plateau and the cutoff. Uh, HHG, high harmonic generation, is a single electron effect. This is above uh, threshold ionization, ATI. This was discovered in 1979 in xenon gas. This is a multi photon absorption. It's a photoelectron spectrum of um, hydrogen. X axis is um, electron kinetic energy. Uh, y axis is differential uh, probability. And you can see there are three peaks. This, um, Picture of the high harmonic generation of a krypton gas in, in a krypton gas cell by an infrared laser. The first attosecond pulse was generated in 2001. The attosecond pulses can be used for the study of electrons, electron dynamics in atoms, molecules, and matter, which is in condensed uh, phase state. This is a very simplified uh, model of the neon 20 isotope. Uh, neon-20 atom, 
which is the most abundant isotope of neon, with 97%. In the universe, uh, element neon is uh, number 5 in abundance. And you can see in the nucleus, it consists of uh, 10, electro 10 protons and 10 neutrons. And this is the first shell, 1s shell. This is the second shell. It contains um, two electrons in the spherical s orbital. And there are three more p orbitals. Each contains two electrons. That makes a total of 10 electrons. And uh, the ionization of neon with uh, 100 electron volt photons was the photo emission delay. The two p electrons were slower to leave the atom compared to the two s electrons. The difference was 21 attoseconds. And now we also know the orbit time of a two p electron, that's 100 attoseconds. At this time scale, the much more massive protons and neutrons, they can't do anything, they are static. Because, uh, for example, the mass of the photo proton is 1836 times uh, the mass of the electron. This is a beautiful animation of the life molecule water. You can see uh, the space filling model, which is the correct model to describe this molecule. The bond angle of water is 104.5 degrees, that's an irregular tetrahedron. The lone electron pairs of oxygen uh, press the HO bonds a bit together. Um, the intermolecular hydrogen bond gives the water its unique properties. And there was an experiment of an interaction of an attosecond pulse train with water and liquid and gases space. And the photoelectrons from the liquid water arrived at the detector 50 to 70 attoseconds later than from the water gas. And this can be, can be explained because um, in liquid water there is more interaction of the molecules compared to gases water. This is a, a description of the photoelectric effect. It, um, Albert Einstein won in 1921 the Nobel Prize in Physics for the photoelectric effect. This uh, material is hit by phot photons. And this uh, causes a flow of electrons. Uh, there's a method, method called uh, RABBIT. That's reconstruction of attosecond heating by interference and two photon transitions. This is a method uh, for studying the extreme UV for pulses. And now we know the photoelectric effect is not an instant effect. It takes 45 attoseconds to liberate the electron from the atom after the atom is hit by the photons. This is a nice picture of um, electron microscope picture of pollen. Um, with attosecond uh, microscopy, you, you have new possibilities. For example, you can study the electron motion dynamics in graphene uh, carbon atoms. This is a picture of the exciton, which is a neutral quasi-particle. This is a bound pair of electron and the electron hole. And the migration of excitons in uh, 2D materials can also be measured with attosecond pulses. This is important for the studying of uh, layer properties, and this will lead to better electronic materials. Uh, the attosecond pulses can be used both as probes and as pumps. This is a very beautiful picture of uh, a scanning, scanning electron microscope image of an ant. You can see the complex structure, surface structure. And this is a nice art of Naomi Devil called Infinite Clock. It's a cybernetic sculpture with Nicolas Schoeffer's hourglass from the Hungarian collection. And these are the names of the Nobel Prize winners in physics of 2023. That's Anne Lully, Agostini, and Ferenc Krauss. Um, I will add the links to the papers in the description field. You can check them out. And that was today's video about the fascinating world of attosecond physics, a new um, nano world that has opened up. And thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.